really made some radical changes in the shapes and the down rails which made boards more turnable. This is Joe Quick. He had a style that was just, just very, very loose and relaxed. He'd stand still and just stand with his arms close together. And, but he knew what he was doing. He had perfect control of that wave. The beach girls of the 50s were very much interested in surfing, I think because of the surfers, the boys. And it was a good way to meet boys, and they got together that way, and a lot of romances bloomed on the beach, and uh, a lot of marriages, and it was just uh, kind of a social scene down there. But there were a, a number of women, uh, uh, more so than you would think would be in, involved in a, a man's sport. They uh, didn't all get out in big ways, but they were there, some of them had boards, and they, uh, hung out with the surfers. Tommy Zahn came in, you can see how Jack Quigg designed this board and spent hours and hours getting it just to, to perfection. This was the, the very competitive race of the year between George Downing and Tommy Zahn. There was great rivalry there, and Tom had been beaten quite a number of times by George. He made up his mind he was going to win this year, and he trained and trained and trained, and he did win. There's George Downing and Tommy Zahn shaking hands after the race. There's his trophy for that race. Tom was an extremely good waterman. He was just good in everything he did.